Hello, this is JD from JD Gaming PR, and welcome back to another. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's a YouTube channel update or an update on the recovery of Puerto Rico. It's a little bit of a mashup, so I think I'm gonna call it double update. <laughs> um, all right, about the recovery, uh, there hasn't been anything interesting really. Uh, they keep um, repairing the the traffic lights. They keep repairing the power. There are more places with power now. Of course, I always say the same thing. Um, I haven't heard any stories, any, any new uh, development uh, when it comes to electricity or anything. Um, but I was reached last night through the comments of one of my videos, uh, of the update videos. I just, I'm not sure if it was the last one. I think it was the last one. Uh, by a person named uh, Maria Torres. Um, she asked me if there was a place, you know, a legit place, uh, that accepts donations of clothes and uh, shoes and stuff, um, you know, to to send it to Puerto Rico so they can uh, give it away to the people who are in need. Uh, I already answered her through the comments uh, that I told her that I really don't know, but I will check. I will check with churches because what I've seen... Um, at least at least a couple of times is that churches uh they gather food and they give it to the you know they they go around houses giving away food uh, for free you know uh it's not only for the ones who need it's for everyone but that's you know churches i'm planning to talk with the let's say the general manager or the big general manager of the place where i work to ask him if the owners of the store of the chain the food chain they're gonna they're gonna do like a, a fundraiser or something like that wait it says i have hold on yes keep on walking keep on walking Crap. it's just that i'm in the parking lot again and i keep seeing co-workers going around me and stuff and they're gonna see me talking to my cell phone all right so uh I was thinking about talking to them to see if they're going to do a fundraiser or they've been doing a fundraiser or something like that. Uh, I mean, I'm going to talk with the big general manager of the store. Basically, the kind of like the owner of the store. Uh, and I'm going to let you guys know if I know any place uh, of a fundraiser you now that they accept donations to give to the ones who are in need so I'm I have to go to a couple of churches and uh, I'm gonna talk to the general the big general manager of where I work uh, what else uh, there is for the recovery they're still giving food away you know surprisingly but I think it's it's not FEMA anymore I don't think it's FEMA anymore I think it's the like I was saying the churches and you know donate donations by 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 churches so um, because I <laughs> my mom keeps receiving stuff and a couple of, I think like two weeks ago, there was some guys giving away food. I think it was the, oh my God, the government, as <laughs> you could call it like that. Um, you know, the, 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 the mayor giving away, you know, um, food and stuff. What else there is? Uh, there's nothing else to say about the recovery of, uh, you know, my hometown, because I keep saying Puerto Rico, but my hometown, I haven't heard any no, any more stories or anything. So I'm going to let you guys know about the donation stuff. All right. Now for the YouTube channel update. Um, oh, damn it. I almost forgot. And I almost cussed. <laughs> um, I forgot. Happy New Year to everyone. I, I keep forgetting that. I haven't been able to record before uh, because I've been busy. I've been tired. Uh, I actually had to spend New Year's Eve hugging my dogs because my crap because my dogs hold on mm. don't you have anything else to do go to work okay so i spend new year's eve hugging my dogs um it's not that it was a sentimental thing i do love my dogs though it's just that since there were so many pyrotechnics, they're afraid of that. You know, they're afraid of the explosions and the big colors. And remember that there's a blackout. So those colors and those, you know, um, the explosions, and you know, the, the colorful uh, fireworks in the sky are a little bit more stronger <laughs> because of the, of the darkness. So I spent... 
I think it was, I started uh, spending time with them from 9.30 p.m. with them outside, walking them, and uh, every time there was an explosion, you know, trying to calm them down, up until 1 a.m. So I spent New Year's Eve basically alone with my dogs. Mm. I still like it, you know, it's, it, it kind of hurts a little bit because you cannot spend time with your family when you want to. Um, it's just, a, yeah, you know, I want to spend time with my family, of course, and my girlfriend, yeah, but, you know, they're scared and, I don't know, I just feel really bad for them, you know, I, I love my dogs. So, yeah, and besides, this is not the first year that I spend New Year's Eve with my dogs, this is like the third or fourth year, so it's not the first time. Alright, Happy New Year, that's the, <laughs> that's the point of all this, Happy New Year. Alright, so there's been a, uh, this is the YouTube channel update. Uh, hello, this is JD from JD Game Gear, and welcome to the YouTube channel update. Alright, so, there's been a Christmas sale on the PlayStation Store. Uh, I missed the first week, I did miss the first week, but uh, I noticed it on the second week. So... I bought some games on the second week, but it wasn't that that many games. I bought Stories The Path of Destiny for 74 cents, because you have to. Um, Manual Samuel, because I've been dying to play a crazy game like that, so I bought Man Manual Sam Samuel for 249. Danger Zone, I didn't knew the Danger Zone was there. Danger Zone is kind of like the, let's say the, the, the crash mode of Burnout, and I love Burnout. Burnout is my favorite card game ever. Burnout Paradise, oh man, I spent so many hours in that game. I wish there was a, there was an HD version for the PS4. Criterion, EA, please bring it. Stop doing Need for Speed for a couple of months and do a Burnout, or at least bring the, a port, because I love Burnout. Anyways, um. And I bought the Gold Simulator DLC bundle in which it has all the DLCs for $5.99. And Danger Zone was for $8.24. So, yep, I have a couple of new games. And then the third week, I noticed that there were more. And I wanted to buy... Alright, I wanted to buy a, uh, a couple of games plus DLC. And uh, at the same time, I wanted to buy a bundle of Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Because I already... I played the first two. I played the first two and I finished them and it was fun. But there was a bundle of the first four and I wanted them. But I couldn't spend that much money. But I said, screw it, it's Christmas. You're gonna be poor anyways. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I bought Marble Puzzle Quest because I love Puzzle Quest and I'm, I love Marble. So, why not? For $1.49. Unravel because I played the demo of Unravel and I love that it. it's super cute. $3.99. The Last Guardian, $19.99. It's a good price. Um, Shadow of the Beast. I really wanted Shadow of the Beast. I bought it for $6.99. Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. I remember playing the first Destroy Humans and it was so much fun. Never played the second one. I bought them both. Uh, each for $3.99, which is awesome. Uh, never Alone Fox Tales DLC. I wanted to buy that DLC. I never had money for it. It wasn't even on sale, so I just bought it. I think it was for $3.99. And I was deciding either to buy all that stuff or the Naruto bundle. I bought the Naruto bundle. <laughs> so the Natru Naruto, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. I think it was called Legacy or something like that. It was the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm from 1 up to 4, except Generations. It was for... $41.99, so I bought four Naruto games, full, full Naruto games for PS4, for $41.99. What steal. So, I have so many games now, including Tekken, Grand Theft Auto V, um, Seven Days to Die, and also Destiny 2. And I haven't started any of them. <laughs> mm, I hate my life. So, um, I don't know. If you want me to play one of those games, just let me know. I do, because I need to finish, and I will finish, Call of Duty because I have to sell it to a friend of mine. So, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, just in case. And I'm not doing a whole playthrough. I am I already mentioned it before. I'm doing something called... It's, it's kind of like a test run of uh, Happy Fun Times. Happy Fun Times is to show you how fun the game is. You know, showing you the funny parts, the, sh the funny bits of the game. Or the things that I could do in the game. You know, for example, I, I don't know... Just for example, 
you see oh if you haven't seen uh just cause 3 i have it too if you have just cause 3 if you haven't seen just cause 3 on youtube there's always crazy stuff you can do in just cause 3 for example you can put some i think it's like a rocket propelled bombs or something to stuff so there was a guy who put some rocket propelled bombs something like that rockets in a cow's butt not only made it fly <laughs> the cow flew right in front of him <laughs> i think it killed him so that bit was hilarious and you know that's one of the things that makes you attracted to those video games you know to see how many crazy stuff you can do like for example all the crazy stuff you can do on grand theft auto 5 i bought grand theft auto 5 because you can do a lot of crazy stuff so that's why I bought a couple of games and, uh, oh no, no, I'm sorry. That's why I'm doing the Happy Fun Times to inspire people to buy that game, to, to let them see how crazy that game is. So it's, instead of doing a playthrough, I'm gonna do that. I don't know if it's a good idea. Let me know in the comments below if it's a good idea because I have, I started it, but I haven't released anything yet. Of course, because there's a power outage. So anyways, this was my double update. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope that you find it informative. Uh, if I know anything about uh, donations and stuff and you want to donate something to Puerto Rico, you know, for the cost or something, I'll let you know. I'll let you know where you can send it. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be a journalist or uh, investigating something. I don't know. Detective. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. So look for me on Google+, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Patreon. I don't use it. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, all under the same name, JD Gaming PR. Share, like, and comment if you like. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This was JD from JD Gaming PR doing a double update because there's not much to talk. There's no power. And I'm bored. I'm super bored. <laughs> well, actually, I have to work in like... Holy crap, in around eight minutes. <laughs> and I hope that you guys have a good one. All right. Bye bye now. And uh, for all of you who subscribed uh, recently, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys like the content. And all of you who, ha uh, who have been subscribed for a while and keep writing in the comments, thank you so much. It's been a while since I heard of Jelt Snake. Ah, I still remember your name of Jelt Snake and uh, also Rosie Moon. So uh, And also Midnight Magic and also Hat in a Box. And. Uh, Mr. Witchblade. What a W. Well, I, I know about you because you keep writing. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways, and I hope that you guys have a good one. Alright, bye-bye now. See you later and take care. Yeah, see ya.